Greetings, Special Centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Lorim. In the last episode, we got our ass handed to us more times than I can remember. And I came to realize that even with leather armor on, or the, the armor that I've crafted on, we're still not strong enough to really take on any, any proper enemies in combat yet. So I traveled back to Riften, where we did a bit of fishing at the end of the episode, just to pass the time and let day come. Uh, and we are going to aim to do the Thieves Guild mission today. But it doesn't look like it's triggering because he stood right there and he's not doing anything. So, uh, I'm really not sure how to... Yeah, I can see it. I can hear him. It's just not triggering for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know how to get it to work. Uh, it seems to be completely busted. Which is really frustrating because... The Thieves Guild would allow us to acquire wealth and powerful artifacts and Welcome. items that would help power us up so we were ready for combat. Come on in, take a look around. It would also grant us levels, which would mean we could get skill ah, points and traits. Good. Uh, but it's just not oh, it's not triggering, so I don't know what's going on with it. Quick silver sword. Yeah, what's up? That you can go. Ancient mace can go. How much money's he got? 1,300. Daedric Helmet, he wants, oh, we can sell it for 2,058, nice. Copernonic Circlet can go. Miner's Boots, Scroll of Fear. Uh, get rid of the four Slaughterfish. Get rid of the raw meat. I think I had some other stuff to sell, didn't I? Yeah. Books, mainly. Hunting permit I want to keep. Death blow is a book we can sell. Spell turn we can sell for 103. Empty bottles we want to sell. Two flagons we want to sell. Flawless garnet we want to sell. Okay, the wolf pelt we can turn into leather. He doesn't have enough money for the... Uh, uh, thingy for the Daedric helmet. So we're not going to sell this to him. We'll sell it to the blacksmith. Hopefully he'll have enough money. Clear-headed. I can clear that now. There's the blacksmith. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? What have you got for mm. sale? Blades, helmets, pretty he's much anything that He's got 2,100, which is enough to sell the... No, he's offering us 2,600. Okay. So, we need to buy some stuff from him. We need to buy stuff off him so he's got enough money to give us for the... Um, probably buy that. Craftsman's Manual. Hinge, iron fittings, nails, iron ingots. Leather we could buy off him and then we could make some more leather stuff. Let's just have a look at what we need. Remember, actually. nothing but genuine fire salt. The forge knows the difference. Yeah, of course. Leather from wolf pale. And then from that, we should be able to make... Because this guy stopped using the forge. Out of the way, it's my turn. <coughs> no, we can't. it was something here leather padding or something I think it was called
Alright, let's just buy some leather from him. Make love like a demon. What was the... Get a craftsman. Did that a long way, but whatever. So here's what's saying. Requires either an introduction to scale armors or level 40 smithing. So what's that book that he's got? So the Ark Dwarven Blacksmith and the Ark. Uh, hmm. I wonder what the book he's what got. What brings guys. you to Balaman today? Repair? Looking to protect yourself you. or deal some damage? The Craftsman's Manual. Uh. 600 it's not really worth it we'll buy a bunch of leather we'll buy three leather off him buy some iron ingots off him as well uh, we'll buy two he's almost got enough now uh, what do we need Makes the target vulnerable to soul gems for 15 seconds. What does that mean? What does it mean by vulnerable to soul gems? It's weird. You could buy a bunch of arrows from them, actually. That might be a good idea. Light padding. That's what I wanted, I think. But I can make that now, so we're not going to buy it off him. Let's just buy a bunch of arrows off him. So we've got arrows. How many arrows do we have? Yeah, we've only got 19. So let's just spend the rest of the money on arrows. Um, that's way too expensive. It's really useful. But I don't know if it does what I think it does, which is soul traps the target. That's a weird way of saying soul traps the target, or if the creature dies within four seconds, soul binds or soul traps it. Makes the target vulnerable to soul gems. What does that even mean? Uh, let's buy some iron arrows. He needs just a hundred gold. So we'll do 182 gold. 26 iron arrows. Now we can sell to him. 2,624. Nice. Remember, nothing but genuine fire sauce. Really. So now we're stocked up on arrows. Uh, now we want to go to leather. Uh, we want to do leather padding, wherever that is. Where's the leather padding that I saw? Maybe he was in other... Light padding, there it is. So light padding, I don't think it, uh, it doesn't take the place of any of your particular armor slots. It just reduces blunt damage by 4%. Not too shabby. Apprentice level work, but solid. Keep at it. Don't tell me what to do. Fine, if we put the light padding on. Yeah, it just increases our armor rating. 
increases our armor rating by 50 and also reduces blunt damage by 4%. So that's good. So we're basically as armored up as we can be now. Scale boots are 50, 50 weight, 13 warmth. I want to see if he's got anything better. Nothing like the smell of a white hot blade, eh? Well, actually, I'm Remember, just I can craft nothing but genuine better. fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Other, no, it's for leather, leather scout boots. Forty-five for thirteen. Yeah, that's what we've got. Hide, no hide. What do we need to make better boots? Ancient Nord boots, heavy armor. No, nothing in there. Let's check the leather. All the way down to the bottom so we get to the boots. Here we go. So, barbarian boots, 45 for 13. Seems to be the best we can do, is 45 for 13. Oh, the pirate boots are warmer at least. We need one more leather for the pirate boots. Pirate boots are warmer. Nord Vagabond boots. So we'll buy one more leather off him and we'll make the pirate boots. Because, um... There. Oh no, we've got better armor on the scale. Oh, I'll keep the scale boots on then. Okay. So, yeah, we're as armoured as we possibly can be now. Don't miss out. Purchase a bottle of my genuine farmer blood elixir. Only 20 septums each. Protect yourself, right? Why are you being such an asshat? Why are you not triggering the fucking... Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you're carrying, eh, lad? I'm sorry, what? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. I can tell. How could you possibly know it's that? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. Oh, it looks like this is it. The way they walk, what they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. What do you mean? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. You seem to be well acquainted with wealth. Wealth is my business. Help me out and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? Nice. What do you have I've in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform. But I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now. You tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. So the guy at the North Gate was your man? Aye, that he was. And you sniffed him out because he broke one of the cardinal rules of our business. He got greedy. He was told to run the scam on merchants, but he smelled the gold on you, and his judgment went out the window. Actually, I admire how you handled the situation. You kept your cool and you didn't kill him. That's the mark of a professional thing. <laughs> Not murdering someone. Can I have my money back in that case? I'm ready. Let's get this started. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Well, go on, then. Go on then. Yeah, he's not playing nice. Please, please, hold all your questions until I finish. Not doing it. Oh, there we go. There we go. I have something to show you that demands your. Jeez, this game's buggy as hell. You gotta like finagle it and work Pushing it and make no it shoving. do its Plenty shit. Wait for her to pass. Come on, Brynjolf. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. 
Come on, this get away, all of you. Opportunity. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what you said about the Wisp Essence, and it turned... I've only got eight lockpicks, need to be careful. Should be more like there. So they had it then. Gonna take it all. Root mixed with water. Well, that was a simple misunderstanding. But this item is the real thing. Lads and lasses, I give you Falma Blood Elixir. Well, don't I even think about it. Up. Come back tomorrow. What? I don't. I'm not doing anything. What a waste of time. Out an old man. Damn. Boy, would you? No. Now shove off. <laughs> so funny. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. You did. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here. It's a relief that our plan went off without It's a, a relief that this quest line is working. I thought it was cut off to us for uh, some reason. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riftum, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Okay. Sven, what are you doing up there? For God's sake, get down. You pillock. Thank, thank you. Bloody hell, he just teleported. I didn't mean it that badly. Now this guy comes and arrests uh, this guy. All right, Franche. Turn out your pockets. We know you have it. Have what? What in blazes are you talking about? Don't play stupid. I said turn out your pockets. Now. I'm telling you, I don't... Wait, what's this ring? This isn't mine. That's right. It isn't yours. You're under arrest, Branche. This is insane. I didn't steal anything. I never saw this ring before in my entire life. We can do this one of two ways. You can walk with me up to the keep, or I can drag your lifeless body. Your choice. It's so harsh. Oh, no, I've... Very well. It's so fucking harsh. See ya, mate. Now we can steal this if we want. Slot requires a key. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's drop a save. Uh, and we're gonna do, we're gonna do the quest. We're gonna locate Brynjolf at the Ragged Flagon. Problem is we have to get past these two and these two are really powerful. At least at this start of the game they are. Ooh. What cut is that? Don't mind if I do. Can always drop down there if we can't get past these two up here. That's good to know. I don't know, Trough. They'd skin us alive if they knew. Someone there. Us. I knew it. Yeah. Okay. This combat situation. Oh, I've only got my fishing rod out. No, don't want the fishing rod.
wait for Sven to get up. He can take the arrow. And then I can get in there and kill this fucker. You're pathetic. Well, waiting for my ally Sven. Come on, mate. You can do it. He's coming around the corner. His stamina is almost up, chat. He's running out of stam. Wait for his stamina to run out and then we charge him. Got him. Nice. Could have done that better if I hadn't have just walked into combat, but in some versions of Skyrim, like the Novus mod pack we played earlier, prior to this, you can talk to them and like persuade them to um, to uh, let you pass without fighting them. You can basically intimidate them into letting you pass. Orcish heavy bow, nice. Still here. Let's trade. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Yeah, you will. Oh, I just bought all these iron arrows and now I've got a shitload from him. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, Sven, put it away, man. Jesus. Sure. Says it's over this way, but oh, it's you. Get him, Sven. Whoa, Sven brutalized him. Good work. Now, if you can get through this way, it goes straight to the flagon. So it's more like up this way. There, got it. So if you go this way, you can go straight into the flagon and you don't need to worry about the bee and barb. Elgrim's elixir is interesting. That leads behind the elixir shop. Might have to go in there and steal some shit. Yeah, you don't need to worry about doing the whole dungeon and exploring everywhere under here, which is good because I've got no health left, so... Skiva. Nice, you can take Skiva hides. That's cool as shit. Pull this lever so we don't need to worry about going anything, going all the way down there at all. Search this guy, Iron Mace, Iron Shield. Pickpockets journal, Skiva cage key and septum. Free scritch from his cave. Cage. Oh, okay. I might do that, I might not. Septum. Whoa, what are you doing? Don't push it that far. 
No, I want to pick up. I want to pick it up. Oh, it's just a spigot. There's nothing in there. Uh, let's read the journal while we can remember, and then we can drop it. Pickpocket's journal. I mean, having no luck at lifting gold off them rich merchants in the market, and those thieves guild wits, swits, don't want me. Said I'm too clumsy. I'm running out of food and skooma. May need to start killing some of the skeevers down here for meat. One of the skeever de skooma dealers at the docks told me he knew a guy from Morrowind who trained a nix hound to distract his mark. Helped him steal a heaping pile of gold, he said. Don't know if I believe a word of it, but what else am I going to do? Might as well give it a try. Too bad there ain't any nix hounds around here. Plenty of skeevers, though. I'm going to need to catch some anyway for food. Might as well have a go at training one first. Okay. Well, we made it to the Ragged Flag in chat. We made it. The fuck is that? Oh, it's one of those things. Cool. One of those T-Rex things. Well, well. Color me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Getting here was easy. Reliable and headstrong? Yes. You're turning out to be quite the prize. So, now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats, what they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Who are they? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. How do you want me to handle it? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Tell me what you desire. Consider it done. If you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Nothing. Now get going. Any help He's with as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. Any tips about Kirava? Kirava's stubborn, Kirava. but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Talon J at the Bee and Barb and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. And who Helga is a right. devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. Okay. I'll be here when you're done. Where a tire is concerned. First, you insult my face. Now you're insulting my clothes? What next? Got a lot of nerve coming down here. Damn right. Why is that? People tend to get hurt in the rat way. If I were you, I wouldn't stay here for long. All right, jeez. Looking to make a home here in the Rift Splendid. Rat Splendid. Right There's a house available right now. Uh, no. I have to think about it. Very well. Just let me know when you're ready to purchase the house. So you can purchase a house in the Rat Run. That's so funny. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. You've got loads of stuff to sell him. Nice. Bread, bread half, cheese wedge, rat way cheese. Uh, red apples, the meat, skeever meat, leek, Nord mead, garlic, juvenile mud crab. I'll see what that does. All this stuff is ingredients that we need to eat. All right. I can't do it yet though because I don't have full health and I and might kill me. Right, let's go do these mark this mark mission and then we should have a place in the Thieves Guild we can sell all our stolen stuff from then on, which is really useful, and buy lock fix, which is also really useful. As well as getting the Thieves Guild armor, which is really should be really good, really potent for what we're trying to do for different abilities. 
and yeah, stuff like that. Oh, it's up this way. I want to see what this bee in the bar entrance is. <coughs> nice. Cool. Riften, that's locked. Sometimes I'm not certain that the people of Riften want to be helped. I think some of them do. We can steal all this if we want at some point. Erin, you never amaze me. You always see the good in everything. It's only because I am Right, let's talk to Kriva. See if we can get her to give us the money. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. I have a message for you from Brynjolf. I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. It was never a request. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. I'm just wasting my time talking to Good, you. and take this little message back to your bosses. I'm not paying any of you a single septum. Ever. Now get out of my inn. Oh, you want to play hard ass, do you? Let me talk to you then. Are you thirsty? Maybe you would be interested in the cliff racer. It's only for the bravest of souls. You might want to talk some sense into Kareva. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Then how many convince her Look, to pay? I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. <laughs> if you'll excuse me. Right, we're going to get to Kareva using that information. I'm not paying you or Brynjolf a single coin. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should visit that farm in Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then pay me. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Ha <laughs> ha! Snapchat. We bent her into shape like a piece of tallow. I don't know. <laughs> we totally got the money. That's all that matters. So, can I interest you in anything today? Message from Grinyo. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of you people. Damn right. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? Give us the money you owe. I think you know what it is. You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? We can protect Ridiculous. ourselves. Trust me. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. I've had enough of this. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do. So I'm... I'm going to go unarmed for this. Because I don't want to swing wide and smash anything I don't have to. No, not the fishing rod. Put the fishing rod up. Go unarmed. Achcha! Now what do you think, fucker? No! That urn was priceless! <laughs> Alright, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Give me Here, your face take next. Your gold and leave me in peace. It would have been your Careful. Taken and taken. When is it going to end? That would have been your face if you hadn't have uh, 
giving me the money. Cartwheel out the door, and we're off chat. Let's just talk to this guy quickly and sell everything we found in the rift and rat way. Oh no, he's got no money, does he? So we cleared him out using the helmet. Alright, we'll have to do someone else. Protect yourself, she should have money. Buy armor Buy you, give me everything I'm you're right carrying. You. Uh, I need to trade some things I'll with you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Is there anything else? Uh, uh. Come out of the way, people. This shit's heavy. Get out of the way, all of you. Looking to stay alive? Why you gonna buy something? Or just to what have you got take for a sale? look? Alright, let's sell all this shit to her. Iron dagger, steel war axe. Uh, I'll keep that and give that to Sven, actually. <laughs> Beggar, the pickpockets journal. Fork. What are they doing with a fork? Ruby. Drum. Broom. We don't need any more leather, actually, because, well, we might need to craft something at some point. I'll keep this stuff on me for the moment. Come back when you're ready to. Let's see if we can make leather out of the skiva hide. I think you can. I should assume you can. Leather materials. Yeah, you can. That's cool as shit. Fur pelt mantle. Cloak. Leather cape. We want. We want this. The fur pelt mantle. It's a cloak that increases our warmth. We're gonna craft that to get our warmth up. Plus we look super sexy with it on. Oh, I can't see it. Oh well. Can't see it under the backpack chat, but whatever. It's on. We look sexy. I feel good. Feeling good. Banow. 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 Na 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 na. Right, bitch. You give me that money, and I won't have to crush it's you. It's you. Please don't hurt me. It is me. I have a message from Brynjolf. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Damn right, lady. That's how it's done. Yeah, boy. Boy. Right, let's return back to bring you off. Let's see if we can go back through this way that we just opened up. Yeah, it looks like we can. The mark is telling us to go this way at any rate. Yeah, nice. Finally, walking to the city of free man. I yeah. can hardly believe it. Thank you. Cool, he just had his appearance mm. changed. 
That's so cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Drain Magicka. Fortify Health? Meh. What's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from, I mean. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. You should talk with Delvin Mallory and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. What's going on between you and Brynjolf? How dare you? After all we've been through together? How could you do this to me? Hey, 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 sorry. I just get jealous when I hear rumors about you. That's all they are, rumors. So quit worrying. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Back off, I know the drill. Now you I like. You've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are gonna get along just fine. Now it's time to get your feet wet, and I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. But I'm business. not gonna sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Yeah, thanks for the Who knows? Why? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Tell me about the burglary jobs. Pretty simple. Break into a house, grab a specific item, and get out before they realize what's going on. The catch is you can't kill anyone who lives there, or you forfeit the payment. You ready for some good old-fashioned burglary? I'm in. Fine. Here's everything you need to know. This unusual gem been worth missing. Wow, since I've seen one of those. What you've got there is a stone of Baron Zaya. Is it worth anything? Not like that, it isn't. The stone was pried off of Baron Zaya's ceremonial crown by a thief in order to cover his tracks. How many of them are there? I think there were 24 in all. Most people keep them as a curiosity. Some of the guild members have tried to locate them over the years, but they haven't been successful. Well, until now. You sure you won't buy it? Look, I only buy things I can turn around quickly for a profit. And no one wants these stones unless they have the whole set. Tell you what, if you find the rest of them, talk to me again. Otherwise, keep it. Maybe it'll bring you luck. Another chance. So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are going to have to get very well acquainted. Oh, how well acquainted? Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Understood. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Nice. What will you give me for these? Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Oh nice, we're going to put the thieves guild mm -hmm. armor on now actually. Because it does stuff like buying prices. So the helmet we made uh, is the same armor as the thieves guild, so we'll wear that. What? We can wear both. Well, 
Why can we wear both? That's weird. Thieves Guild Curious is the same as the Nord Raven Battle Armor, but increases our carry weight, so we're going to wear that. Thieves Guild Gloves does lock picks more durable. 45 armor and 13 warmth, so again, just slightly less warmth. We're going to wear that. Scale boots are slightly better than the Thieves Guild boots. Am I ever going to pickpocket? Probably not. I can't see myself ever pickpocketing unless it's part of a mission. Well, actually, we could do with more money. We could do with pickpocketing. Well, I don't know, actually, because I'm not going to level pickpocketing at all. No, it's better scale boots. So why can we wear the Thieves Guild Hood and the Nord Raven Battle Axe? Oh, because it's lowered. The hood's lowered. I guess. Well, we're going to wear both, definitely. Uh, where's Sven? We'll give Sven all the old stuff that we Whatever didn't. It takes, but please, there don't he is. chop my head off. You need something? I am happy to help if I can. Mm, trade what do you want me to carry? Okay, steel war axe. Um, Nord Raven battle armor, Nord Raven gloves. Thieves Guild boots. Let's see what he's wearing. Let's equip that. The Hide Curious. Oh, because he's got better armor. And warmth doesn't affect him. So I'd rather see him wearing that. Let's get going then. That's a good bit of work. Look at you. Still here. Not bad. Oh, I'll be sure to put it to good it. use. Thank I don't know why he's not wearing it, but he's not wearing it. Weird. He's wearing everything else. Let's just give him the hide armor in that case. Let me know if you need anything. Now get out of my way. Okay, where's Cornelia? There you are. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I've got coin and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. Oh, the battle armor that we literally just friggin' made out of all our leather. That's frustrating. Oh, well, at that time, the Thieves' Guild mission wasn't working, so... Now it is. We can actually sell everything that we couldn't sell before. Damage health. Damage magicka. What else is stolen that we can get rid of to her? These books. Sapphire is stolen. Iron ingots, no. We're going to keep all this. Oh, we want to buy lockpicks off her, that reminds me. Yeah, we want to buy all 33 lockpicks. Whoa! 33 lockpicks cost us 2,673. We're not going to buy that many in that case. We're going to buy 10. There's still 800 lockpicks. They are fucking expensive. 10 lockpicks set us back that much. Jeez, chat. 80 per lockpick. Well, we better go start thieving. We're going to have to go start thieving, chat. Mm -hmm. That's what me thinks. And that's with prices being 10% better, so they're 90 each. Dirge. Veckel doesn't like strangers snooping around the flagon. You better not make trouble. Snooping? Who's snooping? I'm just walking around. Until next time. Is any of this pick up a ball? Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Uh, I know what I'm doing. I suppose I could use some advice. See, that kind of attitude comes from someone who wants to get rich and stay alive long enough to enjoy it. We're going to get along nicely. So, if you've got the nerve, 
I've got plenty of extra jobs to help get the guild back on its feet. Back on its feet? Look around you. The flagon, the guild, it's all falling apart. A few decades ago, this place was as busy as the Imperial City. Now, you'd be lucky if you don't trip over a skeever instead. What happened? Look, I know the others think I'm a bit dull for saying stuff like this, but I'm gonna give it to you straight. Something out there is piss drunk mad at us. I don't know who or what it is, but it's beyond just you and me. We've been cursed. I'll tell you what we do. We spit in that curse's face and turn things around down here. Put things back the way they were. That's where you come in. I've got plenty of work available that could guide us down the road to recovery. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Okay. Uh, numbers, jobs. Most of the establishments in Skyrim keep their transactions recorded within business ledgers. Your job will be to change the numbers in those books so the shortfalls from our other jobs look legit. Feel like doing a bit of writing? I'll do it. Nice. Yeah, this is what you need to know. Nice, we're in Riften at the moment. Two jobs in Riften. Does Brynjolf, doesn't Brynjolf talk to someone, something hmm? else? Aren't we supposed to do something else? Or do we have to just do that first? Oh good, they're both in Riften. That's awesome. So you've got two burglary jobs, or two um, assignments, Thieves Guild assignments, and both of them are in Riften, so you don't need to go anywhere. That's really nice. Just have a look around chat, see what's down here. You know, there used to be stuff that you could pick up, like a more thieves guild armor lying around that you could pick up and then sell. So I'm going to have a look quickly. I'm going to have a quick Ratway vault. So you don't want to go in there. Strange cabinet is locked. We can't get through there yet. What? That's weird. That I thought he told us to go... I thought something else happened. Isn't he meant to open that way for you and uh, maybe you're meant to go a different way first. I could have sworn he opens this way up and then you can go into the, um, the main Thieves Guild area. But I guess not. Maybe you have to do a few missions first. Yeah. Okay. Right. Well, anyways, guys, we've come to the end of the episode. So I'm going to wrap things up here for now. We will pick up tomorrow morning with more Lorim, where we are going to start doing the Thieves Guild missions and trying to get further into the Thieves Guild and trying to amass a decent bit of wealth so that we can fast travel around the map without worrying about it and also buy more equipment and uh, just generally level up and stuff like that thank you all so much for hanging out guys i hugely appreciate it i hope you enjoyed it as much as i'm enjoying playing and i hope you all have a great day i'm gonna be back tomorrow morning with some more lorem hopefully i'll see you all there for that if not i'll try and catch you in some other content i produce i try and make content every single day now so so i'll wait till next time <laughs>